Well, Ryan, the wonders of youth, you bounced back strongly from that particular fall about seven or eight weeks ago. Yeah, no, I bounced back pretty quick, actually. Um, I had to quarantine for two weeks, so that got me um, all healed up pretty quick. So, yeah. So you spent that time in the Alfred Hospital, but what were your memories of the fall? Uh, I remember most of it, actually. Um, just uh, yeah, hitting the deck and, and then just looking up at the horse. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't get knocked out or anything, so my head's all fine. And it's just, yeah, just a few little... Uh, bumps and bruises, so yeah. So you were catapulted out of the sock and then you had another horse who just couldn't avoid you? No, yeah, unfortunately the back row um, collected me after that, but um, yeah, I got pretty lucky um, overall, so yeah. So. Bruised lung, internal bleeding, and there was fears that you may have broken your pelvis. You were on the track for over an hour. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I couldn't really. It was The pain was in the pelvis area, so they just took precautions and all that. Um, well, I'm there just waiting for the helicopter to take me take me to the hospital, so yeah, we're there for a while. <laughs> you do know, Ryan, there's an easy way to get a helicopter ride. <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty good helicopter Yeah, it was good. Nice. It was a good helicopter ride. <laughs> you were certainly looked after by some outstanding people in the medical profession. Yeah, it was awesome, yeah. They, they were really good to me, and um, yeah, couldn't, yeah, they done it really well. Your mum, Naomi, and also your dad, Shane, they didn't waste any time getting to, uh, to the bedside? No, they straight away... Um, they, as soon as I got in the ambulance, they gave me a call and said they were on their way. So um, no, it was good to haven't seen them in a while too. So it was good to see them catch up. <laughs> Once again, you can go around better ways of seeing your parents and having a, this nasty fall. But you've bounced back very strongly. There's been no uh, issues after this. Yeah, no, all good. Yeah, no, I, I, only a few bumps and bruises, but um, they're all good now. So um, yeah, back and at it. Right, I believe the two main concerns you had, despite being in pain with potential serious injuries was that your helmet wasn't scratched and you asked them not to cut off the new tra the new suit you were wearing. Yeah, I just had that suit for a couple of weeks and cost a fair bit of money, so I thought, you know, if we could save the suit, that would be nice. But, um, it was, yeah, it wasn't to be, but anyway, the receipts are replaceable, so... Yeah, yeah, the good news is you made it, the suit didn't. <laughs> yeah, the suit didn't make it. Neither did the helmet, so, yeah, um, that's all good, so they're replaceable and I'm not, so... Um, yeah, no, it was good. Yeah, it was just good. So five days in hospital, you spent more days in quarantine than you did in hospital? Yeah, oh, yeah, it was good. Um, I was probably there for about four or five days. Um, and they, they got me clear, got me on the crutches and straight home to quarantine to heal up. So, it was, yeah, it worked out all right. Yeah. How did you handle the quarantine? Shane said in an interview a couple of weeks ago that he just couldn't handle it at all. No, I, was, I, was, I had to go out for little walks around the yard and all that stuff. I just had to get out, but... Um, at the, at the end of it, I was doing my head in a fair bit. <laughs> Ryan, you've been driving just over a year now. How are you finding it? No, good. I'm really enjoying it. I think um, the more I go around, the more I improve, and um, I just can't wait for the future. I bet you does decision a few years ago to make the move from Queensland to New South Wales, and in particular here at Menangle. Yeah, no, I thought it was a really good idea, just um, just being at the training centre up here and um, being so close to the track and... Um, it's, it's really good just to, you know, you give, your, you give your horse every opportunity to race well and yeah, it's just a good lifestyle. You got involved with the Mini Trotters? Yeah, I was there for a few years. Um, I raced here at Menangle and, and done that, so that, that was a good experience and yeah, I was, loved my time there. Ryan, right, how did the move to the stables of David Aiken in Victoria come about? Oh, just, yeah, um, I just finished year 10 and I uh, was looking, I was wanting a full-time job at a stable and um, came in front in just left uh, probably about a few weeks ago and a few weeks before that and um, I, yeah, we've been family friends with um, Aiken family so um, it would be a good idea just to um, try my luck out there and learn off Aiken and you know drive at all the different tracks there and it was a really good experience. And, yeah. Ryan probably around about your age the 17, 18 year bracket your dad was showing a lot of potential back home as a footballer and played with the likes of Ben Aiken did you ever have uh, the desire to go into the rugby league? Yeah, well, I had, a, I did have a crack at it. I was probably not as good as him, but um, I did play up to club footy, probably under 16, 17s. But um, uh, I, I wasn't as good as him. But I, I do, I do love my footy, still do. So yeah. you broke with the what, uh, for the Broncos, like you did? Yeah, Broncos. Unfortunately, they're not going too well. But um, yeah, still back for them. So yeah. And what positions did you try out for? Oh, yeah, varies between oh, centre or fullback, something like that. Yeah. Well, it's hopefully the career in harness racing continues to blossom. Are you looking to go back to David Aiken or are you looking to uh, try your hand here? 
I uh, try my hand here for now and um, help out Dad while I can. And um, not too sure what I'm going to do yet, but I'll um, sort something out and yeah, f uh, probably be racing in Sydney. Oh, well, you're driving for the Kerry and Morris and Robert Morris combination today. There just may be an opening there. Yeah, oh, really good. Um, it's really yeah. If you're a junior driver for them, would be awesome. Um, just the big numbers team, and you can go. They go to a fair bit of meetings, so yeah, it'd be good to get in there. Right, you've got Lurham Creek going around the Open Class event here on Saturday night at Menangley's latest effort at Melton was certainly creditable. Yeah, oh, it's, it was, I'm, I was pretty impressed with him. Um, you know, Emma, Emma Stewart combination, they're pretty, they're pretty hard to beat and um, he sat right behind him and just finished behind him. So um, I was really happy with his last start and yeah, I, th I think he suits the Menangle racing a bit better, just being on the speed and um, yeah, he should be there about. Well, hopefully you can throw him in with the exotics. As I said, he's got up against some very strong contenders here in Outer Orlando, Buster Brady and Pavey Sam. So throw him in the exotics, then I don't think he'd be too far away. No, oh, yeah, oh, they're classy horses, them guys. But um, he, he's probably just a step below him. But, um, yeah, he never, he ne he always, he's a very consistent horse and he always finishes just there. So, yeah, you just need a bit of luck. Well, Ryan, it's good to see you up and, and about and uh, looking in uh, a picture of health. And may that continues. But also, hopefully, we might see you around Menangle on a bit more uh, a regular basis. Yeah, for sure. That'll be good. Thank you.